River, principal architect with JDSU. We have a uh, product which is used by Tier 1 through uh, Tier 3 for troubleshooting and issue resolution. Within the heart of the solution, we have a tool called Session Trace. We had five very specific goals that we tried to target as we rolled out the uh, new release. We need to uh, support very fast low speeds. It is very critical because data is not uh, decreasing. It's actually, as you would expect, increasing. The telcos also have a very interesting uh, dilemma on their hands. While subscriber base is staying relatively flat, you're still going to see a, uh, an explosion of data, especially as we uh, start to transition from the 3G to 4G rollout. Obviously, that's going to be a huge pressure on them to provide for cost-effective solutions and minimize churn within their subscriber base. Also, we were looking for a solution that would allow us to store more data with a lower footprint. And specifically, we we're looking for a 5x reduction in storage space. Storage is not cheap. I think we all understand that. And any CapEx reduction that we could achieve by minimizing SAN or storage technology is going to be very beneficial to our customer. Also along the lines of reducing CapEx, we are looking for a solution that reduced overall licensing costs. Our uh, solution is very wide in that we have on the order of hundreds of databases that we deploy. Now if you couple that with uh, traditional licensing schemes where you pay a premium for uh, sockets, cores, and uh, hyperthreads, you can quickly see how licensing can become quite onerous. So what we were looking for is a solution that would provide for a, a more flexible and lower licensing cost, again, for a CapEx reduction. Over on the OpEx side, we were looking for a solution that required zero DBA tax. And what we mean by DBA tax is the need to deploy a, an army of uh, DBAs to constantly to, to monitor the database part of our solution. Obviously, it's going to be very difficult for our customers to do this because some of our databases actually are remotely installed at uh, switch sites. So it's very, very important that we be able to deploy a solution and basically forget that it even has a database. Probably most importantly, uh, as we're a Care One 3 solution, our response time needs to be very fast. So what this would translate to, to the NOC personnel, is being able to issue a query with our troubleshooting tool and determine issues as quickly as possible. What this translates to, to the database, are very fast query response times, all without requiring extensive tuning to the uh, database. Along the lines with our performance here, we have a fairly high number of uh, concurrency. We have upwards of 200 simultaneous users at the application level, which gets translated down into the database access. The Tier 1, just to give a uh, feel for the scope or the sheer size of the data that we're trying to store here, at each of the switching sites, we're storing anywhere between 6 and 45 terabytes of data. Now, when you start to expand that across the entire uh, carrier network, we're talking on the order of 700 terabytes all the way up to a petabyte. So when we're talking about large data, it's uh, very easy to see that we are actually living that right now. The queries that are being done are not pre-planned or canned. They're essentially ad hoc queries. And this is very important to understand because part of the solution that we required had to be able to perform these queries without extensive tuning. We simply cannot predict each and every query that the NOC personnel would execute. And InfoBright has a solution that has very, very good query performance for these ad hoc type of queries. This also allows us to use the existing footprint that we have already installed within our customer base to extend the call history that we're able to maintain. Also, the solution is able to uh, store the data at the very high load rates that we have today. And also, we have the expectation that it will be able to handle the, the future load. Currently, uh, if you're looking at the transaction rates, we're seeing 20,000 TDRs per second and up to 40,000 transactions that actually get stored within the database per second. Also, we're realizing both the, uh, the CapEx and OpEx uh, reduction goals namely uh, no DBA tax, so there's no indexing or tuning required. Also, the customer is enjoying the benefit of using existing hardware footprint, and that existing hardware footprint will be used for increased storage going further. And finally, uh, InfoBright licensing is very competitive and uh, very attractive to our carriers because of the uh, reduced cost.